Hello everyone and welcome back to my Realism Overhaul series in Kerbal Space Program 0 .90 Beta. In this episode I've upgraded Realism Overhaul and RP0. Realism Overhaul has been upgraded to 7.0.7a and uh, RP0 has been upgraded to 0.22 and uh, I, well I, I think there's been some engine fixes that won't affect us and uh, uh, some, some minor details and rebalancing. Uh, but there is one thing I noticed uh, in the 0.22 RP0 update uh, it said it fixed the thrust plate adapter to say that it was uh, it was RP0 compatible instead of non RP0 however in in this now I get a lot of things that are non RP0 I should clarify that I've checked with both module manager 2.5.8 and 2.5.9 I am currently using 2.5.9 uh, but uh, yeah, this is uh, procedural parts is recommended by RP0, so there's no way that this should be marked non RP0, uh, part not supported by RP0, and uh, there is a lot of that. If we check the thrust plate adapter, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, that's he cheat shield decoupler. Where are you? Uh, well, that's fixed, <laughs> so that's that's uh, that's RP0 compatible. So this is the rocket that we used at the end of the previous episode and Nathan Kell pointed out that I've got open nodes at the top and probably that was uh, causing much more drag. What I should do, and I'm not going to uh, really launch it this way, but I could have uh, solved the problem by adding procedural nose cones and uh, you know doing something like this to close up that open, I'll probably make it a, that's probably best. Oh, I can't go smaller than that. Oh, that looks horrible. So there's a bottom size limit. I'd have to smooth out the, that. That looks icky. Uh, yeah, there's there's a way to smooth it out. I don't I don't have to worry about that right now though. But anyway, in principle, closing that open attachment node because drag is applied to the attachment nodes, and so it wasn't really uh, seeing FR wasn't really seeing this as a smooth object it was seeing it as more of a blunt object than it should have been. Uh, the reason I'm not going to bother doing that, however, is because of this, the mass issue. So uh, what Nathan Kell said about that was that what the program is doing, uh, just this part of the program, mind you, just the part where it checks the mass of your vehicle against the uh, career limits, the limit on the launch pad, and uh, sees whether you are past the limit, just that portion of the game is grabbing the mass the default mass from here instead of the procedural mass that we have here. So here it's supposed to be 2.9 tons but instead it's reading it as 5.6238 tons and that's why we get this problem. And it's not just the SRBs um, if we uh, take this off here you can see it reads this mass as 1.1 tons but but Mechjeb is using uh, getting it as 0.1 tons, and the reason for that is this tank, this procedural real fuels tank, is uh, well, its default mass is one ton, and that's why that reads one ton, so 1.1 tons. Uh, so that's a problem, um, and uh, so but but I can work around that in a number of ways. Uh, you could say that maybe that's why this isn't uh, RP0 compatible because now we've got this issue but uh, th there are plenty of workarounds for instance I could just um, go into the file for this and tell its mass to just be 1.0 and that'll pretty much save me the trouble because I won't be getting too close to the 40 ton limit before I upgrade the launch pad so all I need is to get in reasonable territory instead of 5.62 tons uh, but then there's the problem where maybe you'll read this as one ton. Well, I mean, I could just consciously make sure I'm not going above 40 tons and it'll be fine. But it'll be reading this as one ton instead of the real 2.9 tons. And I guess all complicated. Um, so that's that, But that's a possible workaround to uh, make sure that uh, we can launch the rockets that we're supposed to be able to launch. But uh, instead of doing this, uh, we did have a very underpowered uh, center stack by the time the boosters separate. And I don't want to make the boosters any bigger than this. Uh, it is possible to make them just straight cylinders instead of these smooth cones, and that'll be a higher capacity. It's not really possible to make them any long taller. Uh, this is very much the limit of that. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, I could make them cylinders and then they'll have higher capacity and higher burn time and uh, we would be able to uh, keep them on longer and maybe get to the point where this one has, a, the center stack has a thrust weight ratio of one. Uh, so that's a possible uh, change. But I think I want to unlock this Vanguard and see what it can do. It does have a nice uh, sea level and vacuum ISP. Uh, probably better than we can get from the SRBs right now. Uh, let's see, these SRBs are actually getting um, 215, well, we could up, no, it doesn't look like we can upgrade the tech level. 215 at sea level and 235 at vacuum, so pretty bad. Uh, and, of course, they're heavy, uh, not intentionally. But, uh, yeah, so maybe we should uh, make some adjustments. I am trusting that procedural parts really is compatible with RP0 and that these notes are not correct because... Well, it's recommended by RP0, so I can't imagine it not being the case. So anyway, I'll just adjust that. What we're going to do is we're going to have the same... T uh, well, let me just bring it up. I've got Beta 4 started up already. Okay, so here's Beta 4. It's generally the same idea, but the top stage is uh, shortened a bit. I've actually bothered to uh, go into Excel to optimize the stages. So uh, I've, uh, I've tried to do that. A little bit more and so now we've got a slightly smaller I think it's slightly uh, a shorter uh, third stage and it's now a third stage this is now the second stage and this is much shorter uh, in order to give us the thrust weight ratio we need and then I'm going to unlock the Vanguard uh, 15,000 is pretty hefty but we should get a lot of mileage out of it so we're gonna be using it a lot and then I am going to add a another stage we're getting pretty tall, aren't we? Yeah, I guess we'll go wider on this stage then. So what my calculation said was I needed 7.78 uh, tons of fuel. I've got more than that. Okay. We're relying on the SR, uh, RCS on, the, on this, so... If I dump the RCS, uh, this will be... Well, we could just dump the RCS. Hmm. The problem is this is all a little bit heavier than I calculated for. Uh, does shrinking it help? Yeah, it does. Well, that's what optimization is all about, isn't it? Lots of fuels we've got going on in this thing. Probably not the best way to go, usually. Well, we don't have enough thrust-to-weight ratio right now. This has gimbling. So we've got a gimbling engine down there. I think the overall this is cheaper than the one with the SRBs. But now we don't have much Delta V there. We do have the Delta V from the RCS unit. That's a plus. But I think I need to extend some stages at the top. But uh, maybe this middle one could do with... Well, it's pretty darn close. I think I might have to attach some SRBs to this. Even the Vanguard doesn't seem to be up to carrying all this up. Oh, uh, no, what I could do is I could reduce the amount of RCS. That's what I can do. Let's have just 12 units. Actually, let me just change the tank. Okay, so still feel like I need boosters. That does not seem like the most ideal booster. But at least the mass will be read properly. Don't they seem like they should be a little bit lower on those attachment nodes? Oh, that's not good. Everything is not supported. Oh, well. Okay, well, that's a little bit closer. Still very much on the edge here. Alright, well, this will be beta 4, I think. Yep. Somewhat dubious. Uh, 9,300 is not enough, really. I guess, now that I've got these little boosters on, I can extend this stage a bit. That 
There. That's our 9,500 I usually aim for. Alright, now let's take it out to the launch pad. Okay, so we are trying to make orbit once again. We have a gimbling engine. We do not have fins this time. I'm hoping that that the gimbling will be enough. It is a powerful gimbling engine. So there's that going for it. Oh, uh, it was, was the Explorer still pre-activated? Let me, uh, let me get myself into the fairing up here and make sure that that's happening. It seems activated on the range operation. Well, yep, yep, yep. Got a Geiger counter and everything. Okay. So, we've got that. My camera's all bad now. All right. So it should be connected up properly. This is not just uh, the towers or anything. All right. Here we go. Not sure I'll use Smart ASS, but I'll have it up just in case. Okay. Boosters are away. Very nice. Very nice. Control is good. Plume is looking nice now. We're a little bit slow. get far up. We should be approaching Mach 1. Mach 1, a little bit high. We are approaching Max Q. Should hit that soon. Really need to tend a little bit higher here. And that's max Q. Okay, well, gotta follow the prograde vector a little bit more here, but I feel like we're a little bit low for that. I feel like turning was a little bit too quick with the TWR we have on this. So atmosphere, we're at 7% surface atmosphere. Still quite a lot of drag then. I definitely like much more than a minute to apoapsis before we switch over to the second stage. Don't know if I'm going to get that. Delta V-wise, we're still go for orbit. Not too bad. Okay, set. Okay, and this is also a gimbling engine, so we will... We need to aim a little bit higher now. Oh, wow. 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 No, 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 no. You are a gambling engine, aren't you? Oh, crud. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. Very much wrong direction. This part needs fins, huh? This gambling... Why? You can't restart anyway, so there's no point in me shutting you down. You are a gambling engine. What are you doing? Tell you what, RCS on uh, doesn't help at all. Crud. Tr 
Come on, you. Holy mackerel. I haven't put much H I don't think I've put any HTP for the RCS on the engine. Maybe I should have done that. Okay. RCS off. Let's dump the fairing. I'll save some mass. I don't think uh, we need to worry about the atmosphere right now. We are uh, not go for orbit right now. I don't think. <sighs> okay. Got extended antenna. Can we do any of these experiments here? Yes, we can. So let's do that. Okay, five uh, probe situation report can't be done here. Okay, well we got five signs so far. Gotta tilt higher up. I'm not entirely sure why I flipped out at all. But well, we're not gonna be able to save this. I'll try and get as high as I can. If we could do a Geiger counter in space, that'll probably be worthwhile. Admittedly, sort of cheaty to uh, to burn the RCS without the fairings off, but but uh, well, I was sort of caught by surprise by the fact that this thing flipped out at all. Okay, our time to apple apples is going up again. Cool beans, uh, but yeah, we're we're not gonna make orbit with the delta v we have left. Too bad I didn't pick up an altitude contract. Uh, I think there's one for two million, two million meters or two thousand kilometers or something like that. In retrospect, I should have kept that tank uh, full sized. I should have left it more than just uh, twelve units of hydrazine. Then I could have shifted the hydrazine from down here to up there, and gotten a lot more delta v from it. I wonder why I didn't burn the hydrazine from here. It uh, evidently pulled it from this tank down here entirely, even though I hadn't shut this tank off. Our prograde vector has lifted a bit, thankfully. Our tiny apoapsis is okay, uh, but not for orbit. Okay, set. And ignition. And we do need RCS at this point. So yeah, you can spin stabilize it. I just use active RCS. I don't think it's exhausting much of the hydrazine. I mean, it's exhausting a little bit, but not a huge amount. And again, we can't really shift up the hydrazine from here to up here. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, we can aim straight prograde now, I think. I mean, I guess I should have known. I mean, I called it beta. This is beta 4, and that means it should have had fins, right? Because that was the distinguishing factor of the beta series. Should have had fins. We'll put fins on. Whoa, whoa, don't go there. Okay, and once we get to 12, we can shut off the... Okay, good. So there's none left there. That's fine. All right, let's see where the hydrazine gets us. Okay. Proceed on hydrazine. We are in space, so let's do the Geiger counter thing. Yep, we can get 10 more. So let's transmit that. And maybe we can make it to another continent. Maybe that'll be a thing, and then we can do it over another biome. Since it seems to be biome dependent. Tough reach, but yeah, I guess... Depends on how drag hits us on the way down. Okay, if we switch to orbital velocity... Honestly, it's uh, not that different from the last, the beta 3, in terms of how close we got. But uh, we let's go for another biome. 
Out of communication, reacquired, and here's Africa. Don't worry, people of Africa, this thing is gonna burn up. And it's all out of fuel anyway. Fuel's the really horrible stuff. Well, hydrazine's not the worst, but. Okay, um, grasslands, yes. Okay, we got grasslands. Looks like grasslands. Could get shores, maybe. Let's just test it out here. Oh, no connection. All right. Come on, there should be some sort of... Oh, no, that's on the other side. Okay, well, it's done some science. Didn't get any funds for us, though. And it's about to die. Now, at the last, end of the last episode, I showed that it actually survived, amazingly enough. But these things are a little bit hard to predict sometimes. It survived until it actually smashed into the surface of the water, of course. At which point it died. Okay, this time, the re-entry really did get it. Okay. Alright, back to the VAB. So yeah, what about that engine? This engine has a gimbling range of 3 degrees. I mean, it's not bad. Should be able to handle it. But let's just put fins just in case. I think... Uh, we would have had enough Delta V to make orbits as long as we had not lost control at that point. Just really, really tiny fins. I want all moving. Yes. Delta V effect of this is really bad. I don't need these things to be hefty to, to do their job. Let me try and fix that once I get them shaped right. Okay, yeah, I, I don't need, uh, they're not uh, bearing that much. Let's go to point 0.4 on those. Still quite a big chunk, we lost uh, 70 meters per second adding those on. But let's uh, go with this. This time I'm going to stage all the engines at once. At least uh, that'll save us a trivial amount of Delta V there. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is still beta 4, KJR, Kerbal Joint Reinforcement is done with its thing. And let's go! Booster set worked pretty well last time, so no problems there. I'm gonna use Smart ASS this time to control things. Let's go to 88 quickly. Ooh. Okay, forget it. I'm not gonna use Smart ASS. Stop that. Stop that. Uh, I'm gonna activate fine controls, because these. Having the fins on tends to require that. Okay, out. Whoa, roll! Uh, seems to have its own thoughts about how to roll here. It's, it's the roll thing. It's just fidgety about roll. Going okay so far. A little bit on the low. Oh, I just uh, made a little bit of control input and it decided to roll a little bit. That's interesting. Definitely need to tune these things down. I don't know what's causing. Oh, 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 don't do that. Okay, well, we're following the prograde vector this time. Definitely following the prograde vector a little bit more closely. Why do I feel like I have less control with these bloody fins? They're just way too fidgety. No, they're a little bit more stable right now. 
but still, I uh, can't really deviate from prograde vector, otherwise I feel instability all over the place. We need to point a little bit higher, though. Of course, once you hit aerodynamic surfaces, they like to follow the flow of, of the air. We'll have to point higher during the second stage, then. We're way low, we're gonna heat up quite a lot here, but we're gonna also run out of acceleration in a sec, so maybe that'll be alright. Trying to nose it up here. Okay. Okay, as I nose up, don't lose control, don't lose control. Oh, God sakes. Alright, uh, it, it just wants to flip out. Uh, even with all this, it just wanted to flip out as soon as we uh, went to this engine. Ah, what's the fins for then, huh? Oh, now it's going to want to tend towards... Oh, come on. Come on. <sighs> Man. This has already failed, of course. I guess we'll need to get some HTP in there for the, its own RCS. Let's dump the fairings. Why isn't the RCS firing, by the way? Or is it, and I'm not just seeing it? No, it's definitely not firing. Or, it, I mean, it's using a tiny bit of hydrazine, but it's not showing it. Well, we are going down. Now I can point in this direction just fine. Hmm. Definitely something wrong here. What is wrong with you? I'm just gonna let it flip out. I'm not even gonna try. Let me actually shut down the engine. We're just gonna let this go. Quite disappointed. Oh, now, now we see RCS working and now well, it's doing something. I don't know what it's doing. Hmm. Odd situation there. Hmm. Maybe the fact that there's this HTTP... Maybe if I configure those for HTTP, it'll be better. Because the system... Uh, in previous versions, the system really didn't like having two different kinds of RCS fuel. Yeah, maybe that's the plan. Okay. Okay, so I'm I'm declaring the whole fin thing a bust. That was just not very helpful at all. Of course, if I knew more about aerodynamics, maybe it would have been a little bit better off. Um, HTP, which is a solution of hydrogen peroxide. Not very efficient, but this engine uses it. For uh, for its vernier thrusters, here you can see vacuum ISP only one thirty seven. Is it even worthwhile adding it? Let's say HTP. We add. Let's give it eight liters. It's quite a lot. Uh, yeah, okay. So we just need HTP while during that uh, little phase. We're, we're losing a lot of money here, but this is the rocket I'm going to try. I don't see why it wouldn't work. It's pretty lightweight. 13 according to this, 24.8 according to that. But I'm missing something here. Definitely missing something here. I feel like things would be better if I aim higher initially. So I'm going to delay the the pitch program a little bit. Let's go. Okay, now let's start out.
boosters are away going for a much higher angle than last time okay now before first stage SEP I'm gonna activate RCS in the hope that that will keep things stable and we'll see if that works I don't know if having both uh, RCS fuels is a good idea, the HTP and the Hydrazine, but we're about to find out. I'm obviously way higher in pitch than in the previous iteration, and that's so that I can follow the prograde vector much more closely than I was before. Still a little bit wiggly. Maybe igniting the second stage so quickly is the issue, but here we go. At two seconds, I'm activating RCS. And. Okay, keeping it to the prograde vector. Alright. Unfortunately, we're carrying some HTP that we don't need, but. But let's not discourage it at all. You know what? I'm gonna keep RCS on. Just for a bit. Okay, we're still go for a bit. Alright, so that is solved, I'll say. And fairing's off. We'll probably still need to use some of the RCS up here in order to really get into orbit. But we'll be a lot closer than we were before. Okay, we should go flat prograde now. And set. And RCS and ignite. Okay. We continue to be go for orbit. Can we do a file to RCS? No, it starts drifting. Interesting. Probably, well, let's extend the antenna. But maybe the fact that there's an antenna on side unbalances it just a tidbit. We should be out of this. Yeah, we're out of this hydrazine here. Okay, and let's decouple. And I believe, well, it's done the camera change, but we're not fully in orbit yet. We're getting there, though. Let's shut down that there, and we can shut down that as well. Uh, we'll get to a higher orbit, but we are in orbit. We're in what works as a stable orbit in real solar system though we could get higher uh, we probably can't do the Geiger counter I don't know if the situation report nah okay but we're gonna go over some other biomes so contract fulfilled contract fulfilled funds have increased science is good we've got science we are approaching hey, hey, hey. oh yeah yeah okay we're approaching periapsis here. Alright, that's fine. No worries. Once we hit uh, periapsis, I'll lift our orbit a bit uh, on the apoapsis, and then uh, we'll go over to apoapsis and lift our orbit there. We don't have an infinite amount of electric charge, but we could probably hit a bunch of biomes, depending on whether we have communication or not. And the higher we are, the better off that'll be. So let's time warp a little bit. Oh, we lost communication as we're approaching periapsis here. Well, whenever we get communication back, I'll do a little bit of burn. Come on, Australia, help me out here.
Okay, here we go. We've acquired Australia. Take SAS off so that we don't burn too much RCS, and I'm going to burn towards a prograde vector. Doesn't matter to me which one we lift, I want to lift both periapsis and apoapsis, so. Here we go. Oh, come on. All right. Okay, that's good on apoapsis. I'll have to wait a little bit. We could probably do some some reports, right? If I can see the probe. There we are. Okay, Highlands, right, transmit. Okay. Probe situation, Highlands, yes. Okay. Let's see, there there isn't too many Highlands in on Australia. A lot of desert. So I should be hitting desert at some point. Certainly shores as well. Grasslands we've done. Oh, no connection. We've lost connection already. Wow. Okay. Let's see. The wide Pacific. There's not going to be much connection over there. We'll reacquire South Hawaii. Oh, wait, wait. South Pacific Islands. Wow. Probably just water. Grasslands. That's surprising. I hope our... hope our biomes are alright. Yeah, I mean, it should be a lot of water here. Maybe there was still some of Australia there. Okay, now that that should be Hawaii. Or is it Midway? Hmm. Water? Probably. Yeah, okay. Okay, Explorer Probe is in orbit. Uh, next thing we'll have to do is we, we need to toss it high up to get those radiation belts. But right now, let's just cover some biomes. Okay, we've acquired Vandenberg probably there. And what's that one? Could be a number of places. Okay. Can we do some science about Baja California? Which biome would that be? Come on, let me click you. Grasslands. Situation for still grasslands. Geiger counter. Water. So I guess Baja California, Canada's grasslands. Come on, there's got to be a shore somewhere between grasslands and water. Nope. We just went right through. Okay. I bet there's some highlands in, in Mexico. Water. Nope. No shores. At least I didn't get any. Okay, well, I'm just getting a whole lot of grasslands, water, and highlands, so I'm going to pass on anything more for now. I'm getting a little bit uh, bored, and that's... And apparently uh, the little message for doing space, uh, what was it, uh, this was this one? I think it was this one for another situation which it said uh, you made it to LKO, how boring. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for bigger things next time, but we, we managed this finally. We managed to put a probe into orbit and... Frankly, I think my design was okay, except that apparently I needed to add fuel for the vernier thrusters, otherwise things go awry. Uh, so noted. Okay, well, anyway, 
accomplishment is accomplishment and we've got plenty of science now 78.5 so I'll look to deploy that in the next episode with that thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time